Okay, so Ember's getting a little bit desperate about where she can find some money, and she's decided that she's going to just cut out the middleman and just steal money from a bank. She wants us to connect to this bank network here, and every account that's in there siphon just one dollar away from all of them. Uh, so we've got three different execution agents that are going to accomplish this. Uh, execution agent B is the most simple one. He's going to grab file 301, which just has the keywords credit and debit. Uh, because in order to take the money, we need to, in uh, Ember's file, write a credit. So first is the account that it's coming from, the word credit, and then one dollar and zero cents. And then in all of the other files, we have to put Ember's account name, debit, and then one dollar and zero cents for that. Uh, so we need those keywords credit and debit for both writing and reading. And just to save myself some time, I had one execution agent grab file 301 and send those out to XA, who's going to get credit, and XC, who's going to get debit. So XA is going to absorb credit, and XC is going to get debit, and then B is going to be gone. XC is going to be the one that's in charge of uh, editing all the other accounts to say that they've had a dollar taken out from them and sent to Ember's account. So what it's going to do is it's going to first get the word debit, and then it's going to create a withdrawer. And the withdrawer is going to be the one that is going to actually edit the file. So XC creates the withdrawer and then I created just a manual hard-coded wait. I, I thought I tried doing a signal at first and I realized that since it's going to be the same amount of time between each new withdrawer being created to the time I need to create the next one, I could just try and hard-code and minimize the amount of time that I wait instead of having to pass extra signals around. So now that XC has spawned one, he's going to wait. I copied three to T and I just created a loop where all it does is just wait. So C is in a holding pattern for a, an, uh, for a predetermined amount of time, while XC0 is going to go and edit the file. But they're going to go into local mode, and local mode will allow them to communicate with XA, who is also in local mode. Uh, and then they're going to grab the file that they were told to by XC, and they're going to copy the name of their account over to XA, who's waiting for it. So XA is going to take in the account name that it's getting the credit for. It's going to write the word credit that it knows and then one zero. Uh, and then before it does the extra stuff, it's also going to send uh, Ember's account number, this 1706 number. We're going to send that back over to XC0 to do. So XA is going to send that back over. Now they both have all the information they need to edit their two files. So XA is going to credit $1 to Ember's account, and XC0 is going to debit $1 to this account. Now that XC0 is done and XA has finished as well, XC is just now going to come off of his hard-coded weight, and he just created the next withdrawer, who's going to do the same thing. They're going to grab a file, and they're going to exchange account numbers, and then they're going to credit and debit the accounts uh, specifically. And XC is going to repeat this process until XC reaches the end of the list of accounts. The 293 is the last one. They, they credit everything. Now what XC is going to do is XC is going to kill XA because XA is, is blind and doesn't know when we're done. So we're going to kill XA. And then XC needs to add... Uh, and as he's already done that, he needs to add Ember's file number to the end of the list of files. So he adds 300. It's always going to be 300 to the end of it. And so that should make everything done. Uh, we've left file 300 here because that is what is required of us. And so we just repeatedly do this process of X... C going in there, deploying the agents to edit them, and then the the withdrawers and XA exchanging the account information in order to get everything through. And switching from the like the dynamic like updating, uh, like having a thing signal me when it's done updating its file so that XC can deploy the next one. Removing all of that is what really allowed me to go from this side of the histogram over to this side of the histogram for the cycles. So I was pretty happy to see that jump. Sometimes doing things in a more simple, dumb way can be faster than trying to be more intelligent about it. And that's a lesson that's very hard to, to learn and take to heart sometimes.